A new startup co-founded by Harvard geneticist George Church wants to use cold-adapted elephants to remake the Arctic tundra, raising major scientific and ethical questions. Harvard geneticist George Church has co-founded a new company with an audacious goal, engineer an elephant that resembles the extinct woolly mammoth. The company, named Colossal, aims to use woolly mammoth DNA to make a hybridized Asian elephant that could thrive in Arctic climates. Using these hybrids, Colossal's long-term goal is to convert swaths of today's mossy tundra into the grassy steppes they once were during the Pleistocene epoch, the period of multiple ice ages that ended 11,700 years ago. Some scientists hypothesize that at large scales, this reversal could reduce future climate change by slowing the thaw of Arctic permafrost. Along the way, Colossal hopes to create new, and lucrative, biotechnologies, including tools that would supplement traditional conservation approaches. We're de-extincting genes, not species, Church says. The goal is really a cold-resistant elephant that is fully interbreedable with the endangered Asian elephant. The idea of using biotechnology to help endangered species, or even extinct ones, is not new. In 2009 researchers successfully cloned a subspecies of ibex that had died out in 2000, though the clone lived for only a few minutes. In April, the San Diego Zoo and California-based nonprofit Revive and Restore announced they had cloned an endangered black-footed ferret, with the goal of adding genetic diversity back into captive breeding programs. And for years, Church's plans to resurrect a mammoth using the extinct Titan sequence DNA made headlines around the world. Most of the science had been solved, they just needed that funding and focus, says Colossal co-founder Ben Lamb, a serial entrepreneur who most recently founded the AI company Hypergiant. It's kind of exciting, after two years of working on this, to start to tell people what we're doing. Don't expect pseudo-mammoths to arrive anytime soon. Colossal's plans rely on several technologies that are unproven in elephants. Even on the company's most aggressive timeline, Church says that Colossal's first hybrid calf is six years away. A self-sustaining herd could take decades to establish. But even at this early stage, Colossal's mission raises profound questions about what it means for a species to be extinct, and how biotechnology can and should be used to address today's extinction crisis. With Colossal's arrival, the conversation is no longer abstract, says Tori Harridge, a mammoth biologist at the Natural History Museum in London. My initial reaction was one of like, shit's getting real, she says.